Uh, hello, uh, my name is Sling. I'm a software engineer in, uh, from a uh, database engineering team at Facebook. I'm here to introduce RocksDB storage engine of MySQL. Uh, why? Uh, why we want to build a new storage engine of MySQL? Uh, let's start with uh, Facebook's website architecture. Uh, we have a three-tier architecture. A uh, stateless web server tier, a uh, cache tier that serves, uh, uh, stored all the data in memory, and a persistent data tier from MySQL databases. Um, we are op optimizing the MySQL database tier today. Um, this is an extremely large tier of databases. Uh, we're talking about many tens of uh, petabytes of data on SSD. Uh, but what is bottleneck of this tier? Because most of read traffic most of read traffic is actually served by the cache tier from memory. So actually the bottleneck of the database tier is the SSD capacities. Uh, so so on, on those SSDs, the utilizations are, are very high, but we have a lot of free read and write bandwidth and a lot of free CPUs. It means if we can fit more data on the same, uh, same amount of SSDs, we have no problem of serving read and write from it. Uh, at the same time, because of SSD, we want to write less bytes to, to it so we can wear out this device slower and use it for longer. So in order to improve those two bottlenecks, we build a, a RocksDB storage engine of MySQL. Wait a uh, what is RocksDB? RocksDB is a persistent key value store uh, that is embedded in the process of the program. Um, it is based on Lock Structure Merge Tree, or LSM, and it's open sourced. Um, we built a RocksDB storage engine of MySQL, and you can, it's also open source, and you can access the source code from our GitHub repository. Uh, we compare the uh, RocksDB and the InnoDB storage engine using our social graph data and found out uh, the RocksDB's uh, uh, size on disk is, is less than half of the InnoDB's uh, for, the, for, for the same data. At, at, at the same time, it writes out less than half of the bytes to the devices as, as what the InnoDB does. Um, why? Uh, why RocksDB uh, has much better write and space amplification than InnoDB? I'll try to explain in the next two slides. First is the space amplification. Uh, InnoDB is based on an uh, in-place update B-tree, so its space amplification is mostly determined by the fragmentation of B-tree pages. It has write amplification caused by the free, free spaces in, in, in a page before compression. Well, after compression, it also uh, has space amplification uh, when writing out uh, compressed pages to 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 device uh, because of page alignment. In this example, um, the, un the compressed page size is about five kilobytes, but we need to use eight kilobytes of space to store it. So in, in all, it, about half of space is, is wasted in this example. While in RocksDB, because it's an LSM, its space amplification is determined by how much uh, still data still in the LSM that is not yet cleared by compactions. Uh, so in, in this example, uh, less than 10% uh, of the data is wasted um, in, 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 in RocksDB, which is much better than about half in InnoDB in this example. How about the write amplification? Um, in the worst case, in InnoDB, we need to read the whole page, modify only one row out of it, and then write it back. And the write amplification is about the page size divided by the row size, which can be, uh, with, with a page size of 16 kilobytes or, or something, it can be as easy uh, to be uh, more than 100. While in RocksDB, the, space, uh, the, the, the write amplification is determined by how many times compactions need to rewrite a record in its lifetime. So in, in this example, it's about 14, 40 in, in, in the worst case, which is much better. So the conclusion, um, in our use cases, MySQL's two bottlenecks are uh, 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 disk capacity and, and the number of bytes written to the device. 
Um, in order to solve the two bottlenecks, we built a RocksDB storage engine, which has much better, comp uh, which compresses much better and writes much less bytes. And we anticipate RocksDB will be able to replace many uses of InnoDB after some more work. Um, if you have more questions or feedback, so you can see me in the poster session today. And thank you.